welcome to Gaurav's arena this is Gaurav Chodnikar and today in this video tutorial I will show you how to download and install the oracle virtual box ok now open your web browser and type virtualbox.org now as soon as the web page loads you can see a big button which says download virtual box 5.2 now click on the download virtual box and a new web page is loaded that is you are directed to an another web page which says windows host os x host linux distributions and solaris host so as i am using a windows 10 os then i will be downloading the windows host as soon as i click on this link a download will start in the bottom left for google chrome on the top right for mozilla and if you are using an idm then it will start up in the center i have already downloaded it and now i will just execute it so as soon as you download it it is an exe file then it shows the virtual box hyphen 5.2.0 hyphen 11 hyphen win that stands for windows now let us double click and start executing it it might ask you for permissions uh, then all you have to do is to grant it the permissions then a dialog box appears just click on next then it says the location to install so i would prefer the default location once more i will click on next i don't want start menu entry i don't need a shortcut i don't need a shortcut here and i will just be clicking register file associations you can have it ticked also but then i will click on next and then proceed with installation then of course i have to proceed with installation i will click on yes and then again click on install so virtual box is used for installing another oss other than performing a dual boot of the pc you can perform dual boot that is partition the whole hard disk in two parts and then use one for uh, suppose windows or the other for linux OS, then the other for mac os you can also do that but the drawback is that you can use only one os at a time but using virtual box it creates a virtual layer that is something which does not exist but you can use that layer it creates such a layer and you can install your os there you can give the specifications as per your requirement that is how much ram do you want how much memory do you want to allocate you can do all such things there so that's why virtual box is used and secondly when you boot up your host os that is my host os is windows 10 so when you boot up that os you can immediately boot on the you can immediately boot on the linux os so this linux os can be run side by side by the windows os so the installation has started it asked me for uh, permissions with a very loud tone but now the installation has started it, the status is not shown only a progress bar it's shown and it's about to complete now it is asking me would you like to install the device software uh, it is for okay it has not given anything but a uh, logo of usb has been shown i guess it is having an interface for the usb devices and just click on install as it is from a trustworthy source that is the oracle now the installation is getting completed now let us see what is the next window it is going to show us i guess probably it will show us that installation has completed now let us see Okay, you can install n number of OS on VirtualBox. You can install from Mac OS, Linux. I'm not sure about Android, but you can use n number of OS like Slackode and other OSs. Okay, I don't remember the names right now, but you can install any kind of OS. I'm not pretty sure about Android, but I don't know. Okay, so now it says it has a box which start Oracle VM VirtualBox 5.2.0 after installation. I will click skip it checked so as to get to know whether I have installed it correctly and click on finish. Now wait for a few seconds and you will get a new window. Now this window says a new virtual machine welcome to virtual box and this states that your virtual box has been installed successfully. So that's it for now. I will show you how to install a OS or boot up an OS in my next video. So. Thank you for watching the video.